Hey everyone, 10 Outdoors 9. It's summer in Tennessee and I'm going to have to deal with the cicadas in the background. So let's put up with that just for a couple of minutes. But we're still going to have a simple penetration and expansion test of this product from Underwood Ammo. This is their configuration of the 124 grain Spear Gold Dot, jacked at hollow point. And Underwood is cranking this up to some so-called plus P plus velocities. And we'll get some specific numbers in just a second. Let me swing over to the factory product. This is the 124 plus P from ATK Spear, their gold dot, or the gold dot. And this is one of my preferred carry loads. It has been adopted by a number of law enforcement agencies, and it has a very good track record out on the street. Now, the advertised velocity on the factory product is 1,220 feet per second. In 2011, I tested this in the same format we're going to use today out of this Glock 19, and my five shot average then was 1,204 feet per second. By comparison, Underwood ammo's advertised velocity of this same bullet is 1,300 feet per second, about a 7% increase. And there's my five shot average out of this four inch barrel. And I'm coming in right there close, 1,298 feet per second is my average. So there's some numbers for you and here's another one. This is a Glock 32 357 SIG 4 inch barrel and when I carry this my preferred load is again the Gold Dot 125 grains. Spears advertised velocity of that is 1,350 feet per second. In my 2011 test I came in at 1,300 36 feet per second. So Spears factory product of the uh, no doubt faster and hotter 357 SIG load is coming in just a tad bit higher than the 9mm offering from Underwood Ammo. Now recoil, I don't have uh, any noticeable recoil out of the 19, the Glock 19 compared to the Spear factory product and my muzzle flash doesn't seem to be really uh, any greater than what I would have in the Spear product. So it's a tale of two different producers of essentially the same ammo, just different configurations. What does this mean when we get into the sim test media? Plus four layers of denim and measuring penetration and expansion. There's the shot from 10 feet with the Glock 19. No pass through. It's in the block. As I'm cutting through the block, I focus on the section, which is typically the middle, where I think this channel or path is running. And then I split that into halves. This is what we come up with. This is the right side of that half, that remaining section. Expansion coming in here, this initial cavity. I'm showing you this side for just a moment so you can see the denim that's being pulled through. Let's drop down to the what was technically the left side of the track. Expansion about a half inch in. This is typical. This cavity runs for about four inches, approximately an inch and a quarter wide, about a half inch deep on this side. This is pretty much the norm of what I see in the standard semi-automatic service calibers. Relative to the factory product of the Gold Dot 124 Plus P from Spear, looks about the same. 357 SIG, it's a little bit less as far as that cavity. Not by much, but just a little bit less. So we're going to move on down the line. 12, 13, 14, 15. And this is coming in. The leading edge of that pedal is coming in at 13.25 inches. You can see if I can get the close-up in the lighting. There is a plug of denim in that cavity, but we had really good expansion even from this perspective. Let's take it out get it cleaned up. And get some measurements. There's the high end on expansion, however, the average is 0 0.703 inches. 124 grain bullet, we're coming in at 123.6 grains.
We've already noted the additional velocity in the Underwood configuration compared to the Spear factory product. And I'm thinking that could have contributed to just a little bit more expansion in today's test relative to the Spear Gold Dot test from 2011. But all things being equal, testing format and so forth, more velocity, probably a little bit more expansion with this configuration. But all in all, about the same. Muzzle flash, recoil, all those things. If you want to get a 50 round box for a pretty good price and still have Spear factory performance, this could be a good buy for you. Thanks for watching.